Hello, hello, hello you guys. What is up? Welcome back to my channel. We're doing a couple days in my life in New York City. I have an event today, I'm recording the podcast today, doing lots of prep because on Thursday we're going to Cabo. Me and some influencer friends, and just real friends, I hate to even say that, booked this trip a couple months ago to go to Cabo for a long weekend. I am so excited to spend some quality time with these girls. They're such amazing people I'm going with. Brooke, Margo, Kenzie, Katie, Kit. I was like, make sure I get them all. Um, so there's six of us, I'm so excited. We um, have some fun things planned, but we really just wanna like chill at the resort and just relax and I'm really looking forward to it. So I thought it'd be fun to do a little a few days at, um, in New York vlog where I'm like packing, prepping, just doing life. Um, I just got back from Tampa last night. Actually, I went home for a long weekend and it was so lovely. However, a couple things happened. One, I got a little sunburn. I was like, well, I'm gonna get a little base tan for Cabo. And um, yeah, also this is literally from my Kindle from holding it because it's like burnt and then it's like one little rectangle and I swear that is from my um, Kindle. Also, my hair is pink. I don't know if you guys can tell, not too bad. But like it's definitely, you know, rosy. I forgot with hair extensions, um, because I have hair extensions, that you're not supposed to use traditional sunscreen. You're supposed to use mineral sunscreen because there's some sort of something in normal sunscreen where it can turn your hair extensions like pink or purple. And that definitely happened. And that's never happened to me before. So, and I was trying to be cautious about it, but I guess my hair touched my skin and now it's pink. So now I'm going to get a treatment today to get rid of it. <laughs> and I need to Amazon Prime uh, mineral sunscreen, clearly. So <laughs> love that for me. I told Kelly, cause we were supposed to like hang out later. And I was like, I just don't know if I can. I have to get my hair fixed. And she's like, oh my gosh, you sunscreen? What? She's freaking out. Wait, let's see what she said. Basically, go fix that hair. <laughs> I'm at Mickey right now getting my nails done and I'm giggling to myself and I'm about to tell her about your hair. <laughs> She's at her nail girl right now, I'm telling her. Anyways, we're gonna do our makeup. Brooke and I are going to an event with Spanx at Il Florista. I'm really excited because someone that we went to school with, she like works for them now. So I'm excited to see her. I'm using this Ella Luz Beauty Oil. My skin is super dry. I'm just moisturizing it up as much as I can before I put on my makeup. It's 10.30, I pretty much need to be ready in 20 minutes. The good thing is, my hair is clean because I washed it yesterday using, oh, I tried to use dish soap. I tried to use dish soap to get it out because apparently that sometimes worked and it didn't. So I washed my hair yesterday, but I don't really feel like having pink hair on camera at this event. So we're gonna attempt to do like a bun. I don't even know guys, I'm such a mess. <laughs> but it's all good mess, it's all good things. Anyways, I'm gonna do my makeup, I'm gonna get dressed and I'll check in with you guys after, but welcome back to a vlog. Okay guys, I kinda love my outfit today. Um, I'm wearing this top, I might be a little chilly. I think my brain still thinks I'm in Florida and it's not that cold out, but it's getting up to like 47 today. I'm gonna be inside mostly. Top is Zara, necklaces, earrings, I just got there from Revolve. Hair is up, I decided ponytail, you can see the pink, but I just don't care, it's behind me, so I don't see it. Um, blazer, I just got it from Jerf Avenue. It's got some shoulder pads, it's the best, perfect fit. Love it. Styled mood bag. I'm wearing some Spanx leggings because it just felt appropriate to go to a Spanx event, and I just love these so much. And then my black cowboy boots from Luke Casey. That's the fit for today. So yeah, Spanx event, then get some lunch, record with Brooke, not sure how much time I'm gonna have if I can come home first or we're just gonna go straight to Mia Wagner salon and get this Malibu treatment that like color corrects that. And yeah, ah, we're back in New York. Spanx has some really cute products right now and clothes. Very excited. They sent us home with some goodies. We're just roaming around the city with some flower arrangements now. This is a nice look. This is blocked off. Or I know. Ooh, 26 really and 27. Between 26 and 27. Come get your photos yeah, here. Yeah, get your photos get here. Get your photos here. We're gonna find some grub and then yeah. go record. I'm so happy. We're trying this place called The Little Beat. Brooke eyed it and it looks so good. I got rice, green beans, chicken, and broccoli. 
bury my vibe. Excited. Brooke got this beautiful bowl. Beautiful, she's stunning. So cute, we're gonna eat. At the office, going through the Spanx goodie bag. We're about to record. We're doing an episode all on spring break and just travel during this time. Like, getting excited for beach vacations or just telling funny stories from like our college spring breaks. We know we have a lot of you guys that are currently in college or high school and you have your spring break. So that's really exciting. Just like a good old- Little spring break little, episode. Little spring break epi. So, ooh, ooh a bra. Very exciting. We love Spanx, guys. They, their activewear is so fire. I mean, Spanx is all about like shapewear and just being so flattering. So imagine their activewear, like- And the jeans, like everything- like jeans. It's all built, like the shapewear is mm -hmm. built into everything, which is so cool. Yeah, so we had a really nice time. Then we obviously just had the lunch. We're about to record. Um, we just got new neighbors next door, so hopefully they don't mind us recording. <laughs> um, yeah, we're gonna record. The blonde is back, no more pink. She did an amazing style on my hair too. I love this curl. Yay. All right, we're back now. I feel like my makeup is just completely off. I've been experiencing just some really bad headaches recently. I think it has to do with my neck just being out of whack. I went to, he's not a chiropractor. He's like a sports, like an athlete, trainer, alternative healing, a really cool guy in Florida. Um, I've been to him before and I went and he said my neck was completely out of whack and like it can affect, like it could have like a pinch nerve, I don't really understand. Um, and obviously I was like telling my dad, I was like, is something wrong with me? Like I just wanna make sure like I'm okay. I've just never, like it's been about a week long headache going in and out, completely gone yesterday. Then on the plane last night, I got the headache again. And I'm just like trying to figure out the root of it because I'm a pretty hydrated gal. And I just, I'm just concerned. It's just like above my eyebrow, like right here. I don't know if this is considered migraines. Apparently it's like a tension headache. Um, it's just, I feel for any of you that experience migraines, like I have a couple friends who deal with migraines and I felt so bad, but I never really experienced it. I never really, I was like, oh my gosh, that sucks to like constantly have headaches. And now I'm like right there with you. And it's like, all I want to do is see the inside of my eyelids and close them. And like, I need to do that, but I just have so much to do before I leave. Um, and I, I want to hang out with my friends tonight. We were just gonna like go hang out in my friend's living room because I love stuff like that. So I think I might still do that. It's a little crazy in here right now. I have to unpack and I really have to unpack because I have to repack obviously. And then I collected a lot of PR while I was away. So I want to do like a TikTok PR haul. I think that would be fun. Got boxes because I unboxed it all. Oh, I have to put these flowers in water. I've been carrying these flowers around New York City all day. They still look pretty, pretty nice. So I'm going to put them in this vase because it's just so beautiful. All the tulips. Um, and yeah, just getting my life together. You know the drill. I just love how she styled my hair. I wish I was like going to something tonight that, you know, I need my hair done, but it'll last. This will last me till um, Mexico. So, oh, I really just want to take off my makeup. I might just have to do it. Like, I... all right, I just took off my makeup. It needed to happen. My skin is so dry. I was telling you guys this earlier, so I'm just a mess. <laughs> I'll pull my hair back too because I don't want to get this hair oily. I got this in a PR package a while ago. It's the Beru Lab Olive Mask, it's clean vegan but it's moisturizing, so I've been saving this for when I need some moisturization. And it feels like time. So we're gonna do, oh, it's sheet mask, I should've figured. I realize I have a busy morning of back-to-back -back stuff, but then after that I have the whole evening to myself. I'm a night worker, I like to do stuff at night instead, aka I like pack, unpack, get all my content stuff done, because I wanna make sure like content goes up while I'm in Mexico and I need to I want to get my video up tomorrow because I post on Wednesdays today's Tuesday oh no is this okay well anyways gonna moisturize up the face self-care I just like ice rolled my face and it definitely made my head feel a little better so I'll leave this on for like 10 minutes and I decided I am gonna go to my friend Seb's house it's me her and my friend Morgan and we had dinner plans tonight and then we all just canceled we were like let's just like sit on someone's living room floor. That's all we really want to do. We're going to get pizza and salad um, and just catch up. I'm just in the mood to sit on the floor and talk to some girls. I think that'll be really good. So yeah. 
that's that. Just took the mask off, put on a ton of serum, eye cream, lip mask, just feeling very refreshed. Put on some comfy clothes. I am just, I'm bringing my computer because I have to do a couple things. Bringing my blue light glasses, hopefully my eyes don't hurt. I'm gonna make the thumbnail for my video, respond to some emails. Um, just while we're like talking and hanging out and Morgan just picked up Zazie's pizza for us Which is so good in New York if you live here. I'm listening to country music. So I'm just in a good mood I'm feeling a lot better. I think I just like hadn't been home since 10 a.m. This morning So I was just recorded the podcast the podcast episode went so well. We're literally titling it sprang break. It's really funny Um, whoo, gal on the go. Oh a package has been delivered. That was my Alexa telling me that Hi guys just getting back now. It's about 10 o'clock and it was so nice. We ate some pizza from Zazie's and then Seb also went to Rosemary's and picked up a salad and Brussels sprouts. It was just a lovely experience. And it was Seb and her roommate and then me and Morgan and um, none of us have seen the new show called Dropout. It's about Elizabeth Holmes and Amanda Seyfried plays an amazing Elizabeth Holmes. Like, crushed it apparently she studied her voice for like two years we we're looking it all up but um so yeah we watched the first episode all together which was really fun and then we were all just like yawning we were all just in there yawning so we we're like let's all go back so it was nice i'm glad i went it was a nice little stress reliever and those girls are great and i'm really happy i'm starting to make new connections here in new york and those are two girls so morgan and i always went to high school together but then those two girls went to georgia and i'm like becoming friends with them more so now than at school so it's kind of fun and cool. But yeah, I'm about to just put on some mindless TV. I think I'm gonna finish Bachelor because it was two nights this week. It was Women Tell All. So I'm gonna finish that um, while I finish my YouTube stuff and then go to bed because we have a workout in the morning. We have a couple appointments tomorrow. Um, we're packing tomorrow. I basically didn't do as much today as I planned so a lot needs to be done tomorrow. But I kind of thrive off of, oh my dad just texted me, how are you feeling? Um, I kind of thrive off of having a lot to do because then I get it all done instead of like, if I just have one thing, I'm like, ah, I could do it tomorrow. But if I have a lot of things, I'm like, oh, okay, I gotta do it. So, yeah. This. Good morning, everybody. It's a rainy Wednesday morning. I'm about to head to my workout, but right, whoa, it's like, it's like sleeting or s whatever, I don't know. It's not rain, it's like icy, that's cute. Um, is it snow? I don't really know what's happening. Um, I'm about to leave for my workout, wearing my Georgia alum sweatshirt, leggings, hokas, got the workout fit on. I don't know if you guys can see in this light because I have like one of my shades closed, but my rug here has gotten really dirty. Um, these are literally from my candle, like the black little balls that come off the wick. Um, and that's completely my fault. And on this side, it's actually even worse. Like all of this, it's just gross and it's a really nice rug. So my friend told me about this rug. Um, cleaner company that they come and pick it up because I can't lift this on my own so that the uh, two guys are going to be here in like 15 minutes and they're going to lift up my coffee table take this and they'll have it for I think two weeks and completely clean it and I'll make sure hopefully that doesn't happen again but it is a white rug so I'll probably have to do it again in the future but hopefully not too soon um so yeah say goodbye to this layered look for a couple weeks um feel so mature and responsible, like getting my rug cleaned, who is she? Wow, this looks so different without the white rug. It looks kind of good too. Um, they just took it in the head to my workout. Get moving for the day. <laughs> Back from my workout now, and I went to European Wax Center as well right after, oops, and just got a little touch up for the trip. Um, I'm thinking grilled chicken, rice, and broccoli. 
for lunch today. If you guys didn't see my vlog, I don't know, like two vlogs ago, I went to Trader Joe's and I got these frozen chicken strips, this um, frozen rice, but there's no like additives in it or anything. It's literally just rice. Um, and this is so good. I'm gonna cook this over the stove. It was absolutely delicious. And then I have this broccoli from last week, but I feel as though, I don't know. I have frozen broccoli too. Maybe I'll just make that. That's That's been there since last week. Yeah, we're gonna do the frozen broccoli. Frozen gang. Fireball is in there, of course. So yeah, this is my lunch, and it might be my dinner too. We shall see. <laughs> okay guys, the packing process is beginning. I can't believe this trip is finally happening. I've had this box over here of everything I've ordered for this trip. I'm realizing I definitely have way too many outfits, but any outfits I don't wear, I'll just wear on my next warm weather trip that I don't have planned, but I'm sure something will come in handy. Um, so I'm organizing about all the swimsuits here. I have like outfits set. So like this is a top and pants. Um, all of my outfits, or most of them, were styled by my friend Elizabeth Styles Check. Go check her out, she's amazing. These two are sets from Tiger Miss and I'm so excited to wear this dress I'm wearing right now. A moment for dinner, it's from the brand Kim Shui. Um, obsessed, I'm so excited. I just wanted to try it on and make sure that you can kind of see my underwear, but I'm gonna wear nude Spanx and these really awesome green heels. I can't believe it's happening. So I'm kind of crazy and made this with Elizabeth of all of my outfits <laughs> because I'm just crazy, okay? So it's not like, I'm not like, this is night one, this is night two, but I just wanna be able to see everything. So when I'm looking at my suitcase, I'm not like, what's what? Highly suggest doing this. This is definitely Virgo energy, but I love it. So I made this couple outfits. <laughs> Here's one outfit. And also follow me on Instagram, at Danielle Carolyn because by the time this video is up, the trip's over. So you'll have seen all these or some of them. This, this is what I'm wearing right now. This set, this set I showed you guys. These are the swimsuits I'm bringing. Um, this is a cool as a construct little moment here. This is a zebra set that I borrowed from Ozzy and Co. Love this moment. This is that top with the green pants. I also bought this. This is a night outfit. Uh, I don't really know what this is, but an outfit. Another just simple outfit, dinner outfit. I love that dress. This is like a day to night situation that she showed me, loved it. But I don't think I ended up buying that. So it's just a day outfit. Love this. This swimsuit, I don't think I bought the skirt, but I have this bag and that shirt and the earrings. This little Matilda set I also got. And these are random things, so I'm gonna pack this orange cowgirl hat. I need to grab that right now before I forget this bucket hat. These are other things that I've just gotten recently that I love, so I just thought I'd bring them. Some random accessories that I have, I'm crazy. So yeah, that's kind of the layout. Um, so I'm using this to pack to make sure I get everything. Oh my gosh, guys, the shoes, the bag, this is a moment. <laughs> this brown cover-up is so fun too. This bathing suit is Frankie's bikinis. Bye. All right, um, did some more packing and I just took a body shower and changed into my getting a spray tan set. This is from Skims, I love it. Um, we're headed to an Isle of Paradise pop-up, which is exciting. I love their self-tanning drops. I use them on my face all the time. Isle of Paradise has a little pop-up going on in Soho and glow to go which is like my go-to spray tanning people, they're doing it in collaboration with them. So I'm gonna pop over and get a spray tan there, which is exciting. Um, and I'm excited to meet the Isle of Paradise team as well. So yeah, it's kind of just really exciting. So here's the set. I'm just gonna wear my slides and then I'm gonna put on my puffer because it's cold and because it has a hood, because it's still like raining, snowing, whatever outside. Um, spray tan with this is not ideal, but that's okay. And I'm also bringing an umbrella. So we're gonna go to spray tan, very excited. Literally all the girls in our group chat. It's like getting ready for a trip, it's so exciting. It feels like a college spring break. We're all like, okay, who's self tanning? Who's getting a spray tan? Are we, are we doing that, are we not? Like, I don't know, it's fun. Or like, do we need converters, like for the plug? I don't know, it's just so, I'm so excited. <laughs> So I'm packing again right now and I just got this new 
brush set because Kelly recommended it on her stories and anything she says I literally buy. I'm sorry, my phone is going off. Um, this is the Morphe Times Ariel um, brush kit, so I'm so excited. So every now and again I do this, I go through my makeup bag and I put out or like take out stuff that I haven't been using. So I just want this to be my everyday makeup. I just got some more blushes from Rare Beauty. I love these so much. And I've never tried her liquid luminizer, so I'm gonna try this too. So I'm gonna go through this, take out the brushes, put in my new brushes, you know, just kind of that vibe. Um, but I thought I'd show you guys. I'll link this brush set down below as well. All right, here's a little update. Suitcase is just about packed. I've got my makeup bag here, a little beach bag, another tote bag, my green bag, my underwear. Actually, I think I need more um, of that. Gonna gather all of my jewelry. I need to bring some tape and stuff for one of my outfits. This is stuff I need to put away. This is stuff I unpacked from Florida. Over here, I'm just pulling everything out that I might wanna put in my carry-on bag. I'm trying to decide what carry-on bag I wanna use. Um, I pulled out my passport already. Gotta have that little headphone or earbuds to watch a movie on the plane if I want. This was my bag coming here, so I might just work with this situation. I haven't really decided. Um, Ryan's about to come over. I ordered the one and only Marafuku Ramen. It's our favorite, and we're just gonna have a little night together and watch Inventing Anna eat some ramen before I head out for the weekend. That's that. Ryan just got here. Oh my gosh, you look so tan. Yeah, Florida. Florida will do that to you. You tan so easily. Here I am getting a straight tan. We just got Marafuku ramen. He went and bought me um, mineral sunscreen because it didn't come in time from Amazon. So hopefully these work. I'm trying these Hawaiian Tropic ones so my hair doesn't turn pink again. Should we watch some Inventing Anna while we eat? Sure. It sounds really nice, right? Yum. All right, Tan is coming in nicely. I'm about to shower and go to bed. I think we're just about done packing. All I need to do is put my toiletries in there um, and then zip it all up. I've laid out everything for my carry-on bag. I think I'm gonna wear this to the airport because that's just such a mood and I don't want this to get crushed in my suitcase. So yeah, got my masks for the airport, all the things, got my jewelry, sunglasses, my supplements, passport, so important. Oh, I should probably charge my AirPods. I was just charging my Kindle. Is it done yet? No, it's not done, but yeah, that's the vibe. Hope you guys enjoyed this little pack and prep with me in a few days in my life in New York City vlog, and I'll see you guys in Cabo. Love you, subscribe, bye.